Hey Libra, welcome to your reading. If you're one of my loyal subscribers, you'll know this is not my usual setup, um, but please just bear with me. And if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And of course, I'll leave information in the description box about what cards I use and how to contact me for personal reading. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, hope. Um, never give up hope, right? Um, if we're thinking positive, um, I think hope is better than wishing. Because I often say, be careful what you wish for. But staying optimistic um, and having hope, I mean, hope is probably the hardest thing to kill. It's what we all have, right? Um, so there's still hope for this situation. Whatever it is that's on your mind, work, family, love life, there's hope for this situation. Uh, that's card 17 there, 1 plus 7, 8. So it's related to the strength card. You're needing strength to get through this time, but also hope. There is hope here. Stand your ground, 7 there of 1. So it is saying you've been through some challenges. Um, it's probably still going to be a challenging time with this uh, card coming out, but it's saying, look, have hope, stand your ground, um, and you'll succeed here because I feel like that's a victory stance. I mean, look at it, right? So that's a victory stance. I feel like, you know, having hope and standing your ground, knowing and trusting, um, you kind of get what you want. This transformation here, change is coming. That's card 13, the death card there. So this change is coming. Just keep holding on, stand your ground here. And you're going to see a real dramatic change now. Let me get you guys some Romance Angel cards. That was the Psychic deck, but I will leave that information in the description box. Okay, guys? Um, this could be the one. So if it is a romantic situation that maybe it came to an end with the death card here, there's going to be transformation in that situation. Um, there's still hope here, okay? So you could be still holding out hope um, that the one you desire um, will change or come back. The relationship will transform. Maybe you're hoping to get into a relationship with them. Um, yeah, it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek here. Okay, past life connection. Um, it's because you've known each other before. That's why you feel this strong connection to them. So, yeah, it can even be like a twin flame, a karmic partner here. I think a lot of people presume karma is just negative and it's not. It's this attachment that you have. Maybe you do owe them a karmic debt and they hurt you in this life or you hurt them in last life, vice versa. And the message is always for the watcher. Um, because I will have people comment in, look, it's, you know, maybe the Libra who did it to me, etc. Yeah, the message is for the watcher here. So even if um, the relationship ended with the death card there, I feel like there's still hope that you will reconnect with this person from your past life connection here. The world, a new cycle is about to begin. So um, definitely possibilities here endless possibilities i'm feeling with this and the hope card there sorry i keep looking down you guys know i'm usually set up looking at the cards so obviously i keep looking at the cards to read the cards there so yeah that's the world card there saying you know there's endless possibilities nothing is impossible um when we dare to dream right so i feel like beautiful things are coming your way it's coming to your birthday season so usually you'll get a lot of good energy a lot of doors opening up to you now and the ace of cups here so um yeah I, what else would you want a past life connection new or old um this could be the one this is who you know you held out this hope for here this ace of cups this love this romance um there's going to be a change. So if you're not together, um, the relationship's about to transform here. Um, an opportunity for love now coming your way. 
I feel like you, the door may have cl been closed on this relationship once before, but it's like a moment in time where the door will open to this opportunity, this possibility. You just have to remain um, in high spirits, hopeful, optimistic, okay? Manifesting the good into your life here. Fix of thoughts, wonderful. Um, definitely needing to think positive, okay, to get this forward movement here. It does show, like the seven of wands we've seen, um, you've been through some tough times, some turbulent times. Um, but smoother road ahead here, um, coming for you guys. It'll seem like easy, easy sailing. Um, I feel like that is into Libra season. Okay, um, the Six of Swords there being related to a Libra energy. So I do feel like even if you're cross-watching for a Libra, the energy will improve between you both here now. Ten of Pentacles. So you're able to make um, a very solid, firm relationship. Again, endless possibilities for money here. Okay, being able to take care of your family, finances, um, letting those Pentacles rain down on you there. I mean, we all have this when we move towards our birthday season, okay? You've got about probably six weeks left until Libra season, so yeah. Ten of Swords, the worst of it is over. New cycles beginning. Another, like, death card. Another, lots of things coming to an end now for you. So you may see lots of changes and transformations in all the relationships in your life, not just romantic relationships, work relationships, because with the world card here, it's saying, look, endless possibilities are opening up to you now. You've got to be able to use that energy from, I'm sorry, they're dropping out, Libra season to, sorry, Leo season to get motivated and um, push past the... <laughs> emotional season of cancer season there the emotions that have been you know up and down i feel like now it's time to get focused um not overthinking we have the five of cups here with the fool so i feel like it's time to put that sadness away and take a chance on new possibilities here okay somebody is missing you um they might reach out with a love offer here with the Ace of Cups, okay? You can probably feel their energy. So it might be, you might think, why do I all of a sudden feel sad? Um, this is because somebody is missing you, wants to reach out to you here. Um, quite possibly why they want to change the connection between you guys here. They want a fresh beginning here with the full. And I always tell people, if you're going to go backwards in a relationship, always, always, always um, treat it as a new one. You don't want to go back and, you know, it end up being the same. So you always want to treat it as a new one. Eight of Swords. Okay, so they're more than missing you. They're obsessing about you here. Overthinking. You could be doing this as well, Libra. Overthinking about somebody um, that's making you feel quite sad and depressed, um, not wanting to get out of bed. Um, but I, I feel like if you sort of embrace an Aries energy and just take a chance, this can turn the whole thing around. There's a difference, isn't there, between sadness and depression. Sadness, you can probably explain what you're sad about, but depression, sometimes you can't explain it. So you might need more help if you are, you know, feeling down and stuck in bed and overthinking situations, which causes you to worry. Um, and then brings on that sadness. You need to take a chance. And if you start to feel like that, get out in nature, start walking, um, you know, get your blood pumping around your body. So you start to breathe, right? Rather than just this overthinking here. So the seven of swords now. So it could be that you lost hope. And this is why the hope ca card came out to tell you, look, remain strong, have hope. You could have even been deceived by somebody um which led to this sadness and this longing and even this depression maybe here but there's a change coming okay so if you are overly concerned about something seek help 
don't just keep it to yourself okay seek help because the seven of swords is like negative thinking here and you might be going backwards and forwards between the two there you might start feeling positive and then something happens it knocks you down again um but you know if it knocks you down get back up okay be proud of how many times you've got back up the four of pentacles yeah once the happiness comes from within you and you're your foundation nobody else will be able to knock you off this foundation okay some of you could be wanting to move home or forced to move home and that's what's got you concerned and worried here and that's what you're thinking about but there is an opportunity for a new home coming towards you here so don't be overly concerned about that as well as a new career Okay, good luck guys.